Hi everyone, today I want to show you um, some glitter paint that we have in at VZ Gallery Arts and Crafts on Chester Road in Sutton Coldfield. Um, and we've got it in, it's called Isink Diamond Paint. This is just a card that I made today using the paints. I'm hoping you can see that okay. So these are the paints. They come in a nice little handy pouch. So you literally just take the top off there and then you can squeeze them straight out onto your project. It makes it nice and easy, um, so you don't have to have more. You don't have to put more out than you need to use at any one time. Um, you probably can't see these colours very well. If I switch that light off, you might be able to see them a bit better. This is like a salmon pink colour. I've got a pale teal and a deep pea, uh, teal. You can kind of see the difference. Um, then a very bright hot pink. A kind of a copper colour. A pale pink. A nice deep purple, a black, it's got bits of silver in it, a plain silver, a gold, a really nice green, and we've also got a red as well, which I don't have here today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk you through how I've done this, how I've made these, um, this card, um, and here are some others that I've made as well. They look really nice on black, they also look nice on white as well. Now the good thing about these glitter paints is that they don't have any pigment in them, it's all glitter. So it means that you can really muddy up your colours and they don't actually muddy, if you know what I mean. So this one here for example, I used pink, the salmon, the salmon pink, the green and the teal and gold, which normally if you tried that with paint and mixed it as much as I have here, it would come out a brown colour. But this hasn't come out of brown colour at all. It's a real nice mix. This one here again was the purple, the teal, and I think I used the black in there as well. But again, as you can see, it's come out really nicely. Well, I hope you can see. Any waste that you have, you can just smear onto a piece of, of spare card, and then later on you can just die cut that out and use that for butterflies or sentiments, all kinds of things you can use that for. There's another one that I did using the pink, the tea and the silver. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's very easy. All you need is a palette knife or you can use an old credit card. That works just as well. Um, I'm going to pick, now the colours that we found worked really well was the green worked really well with the, the green, the teal, the pink and what was the other one? The gold, I think it was. Yeah, see, now I would not normally put those colours together. But with this, it's, they've come out really well. These retail, at the moment, they're 5 75 for a pouch, but they do last you a long time. So I've done a craft class today with seven people, and they've all made lots, and I do mean lots, of backgrounds. But I still have an awful lot of paint left in my pouches. Plenty, plenty of paint. So... They really do go a long way because, as you'll see, you don't need a lot of a lot of the paint. Now, these paints can be used on any surface. You can use them on fabric. You can use them on paper, card. You can use them on glass, wood. You know anything really. Um, if you use them on fabric, then what you need to do, uh, if it's something you're going to be washing, you need to make sure you iron on the back of it. Now, the the um, the manufacturers advise me that you need to iron on the back of it eight minutes before washing. Okay, so take that as you will. That's what you need to do. But it's the great colours. Um, what you'll need, you'll need a what, I, what we call a splodge mat or a messy mat. So I've got some people use those um, uh, craft mats, but I've just got a piece of acetate. This was from oh, ages ago. Scratch a bit of acetate, something I can wipe clean. Then you need obviously a stencil. This is one that I made myself. Um, some card. Got a nice black piece, you could use white as well, you can use any colour really, but I'm going to use black. Then you also need a bit of washi tape, which I'm just going to get because you want to be able to stick your you want to be able to stick your um, stencil down so it doesn't move. So I'm just going to get some washi tape. There you are, a bit of washi tape. And really 
really you can have an experiment with all kinds of colours and they work very well indeed. So attach that at the top there like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my paints and I'm going to splodge them in the corners. So I've got a blob here and you need Mm, about that much <laughs> really that's about what's that yeah I don't know how what I can show you to make so you can see what color it is that's not what color it is what size it is not very big anyway a bit bigger than a pea I suppose but the size of a hazelnut maybe now what I tend to do is I put a splodge of the two cool colors in opposite corners and then the other two the other warm colours I'll put in the opposite corners. There we go. Like that. And then you want to use your palette knife or your credit card, whatever you're using, and basically spread it as if you're spreading butter on toast. Don't start doing all this as if you're icing a cake. You want to literally, confidently, just spread it on. Like this. Now, as you can see, my colours got a bit muddled up, but that's fine. That's sort of actually what I was going for. And when you've got everything covered and you're happy, just give it a final scrape off. that. This that's on your palette knife is not going to get wasted. All that's on your mat is not going to get wasted. And what you do need is you do need a bowl of hot soapy water so you can put your dirty stencil in to wash it off. So as you can see, it's come out pretty good. Just when the light catches it, it looks amazing. So that's that. It takes 20 minutes to dry. Now obviously here, you can speed it up. I put some on uh, a radiator when we were at the craft class, put them on the radiator just to sort of speed up the drying time. And that seemed to work well. So all this here that I've got on there, that is not wasted. You can either go over and use it on another stencil, another piece of card, or you can just literally whack it straight onto a scrap piece of card uh, and then die cut it later is what I think I'm going to do here. Like this on here, like this. And now I split it nice and evenly. So I, I could have gone over that again with another stencil. I could have got another stencil and, and done another go, but just for the sake of this video, so you can see. And a real rainbow. And see again, if that was paint, that would be a real muddy colour. I don't know if you can see, if the light's picking it up, how amazing all those colours look together. If I just turn that, you can see them reflecting. And it's just amazing. So that now, I'm going to let that dry. And then we're going to die cut it. And... Uh, use it for sentiment or butterflies or all sorts of things you could use that for. So I'm going to come back in a bit with some other ideas of things of, of cards made up. 